Goodbye, Cassini. Your mission's fini. Bravo, Cassini. Have some linguini. You showed us Saturn's rings and lots of pretty things. Huygens probe took a dive early 2005. Landed on Titan. It was exciting. Your mission never failed to surprise. I've got your measure, Father. What do you want from me, Rose? The truth would be nice. Are you saying there's no truth in my church? Oh, and there was me thinking it was our church, Father. You've seen what he's capable of. You're on the payroll, too. I was fooled, just like everyone else. I never thought he'd be driving everyone out. It'll be taking more than bulldozers to flatten Rosie Ryan. Quiet now! Let the man speak. I'm here to help you! Father! These women of yours won't stand a chance in the field. I'll have them ready in five days. They may need to face the enemy in less than five days, Colonel. What are you saying? German High Command has been working to put a double agent in amongst your WASP trainees. I suppose it was only a matter of time. But how the hell did they find out about the WASP program so fast? First, we have reason to believe there may be a female agent here already. I'm afraid you may be right. These girls could be finished before they start. I am sitting here with legendary art history professor. Please don't use my name. As you wish, il professore. Tell us about this legendary lover. Casanova was born in Venice in 1725. No, 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 this I can find from Wikipedia. What I am interested in is the juicy parts, chastity belts being broken off, three ways with the daughters of the Doge. He was a prodigy. He went to the university at the age of 12. Did he prefer the front door or the back door? Actually, the side door. He's not just a ghost, he's a person. And a person of some substance, I might add, before I became entirely insubstantial. He's got a substance problem. I wouldn't mind a glass of clap. Go, go. Colonel, we are quite sure we didn't drop it. You did, and we don't want it back. Understand? Harvey, take me to Harvey. Harvey reports to me, John. We didn't like you poking around with this back then, and we sure as hell don't like it now. Leave the hocus pocus stuff to us, huh? Go home to your whiskey. It misses you. It's not just in my mind. No, I, I thought it was for a while, but... But, but nothing, John. So, let because... it go. Or the next time you use a towel or put on a brand new shirt, you might just have the inevitable second heart attack about an hour or so later. Like your daughter says, final warning. Cheerio. No more, no more. Tell me, madam, is that your husband or the crane operator? When you wear high heels, do you strike oil? When you dance the polka? Uh, does the record skip? At, At the, the radio station! <laughs> Oh, we just can't help ourselves. No. We have been together for 52 years. Oh, my God, I just made myself very depressed. Well, what you need is a hobby. <laughs> I've signed him up for the bridge club. He jumps next week. <laughs> we're partners, dummy. We're going together. <laughs> okay, okay, but not the face, not the face. It's not going to have any use for you once we have our little... Yeah. My theater, my show, and my goddamn girl! I'm a 
very honored uh, today to be speaking uh, to um, Father Kant. Uh, Ken, Father Father Kant. Ken. You can't say that. It's Father Kent. May I say Father Padre? Kent. Padre, may I call you Padre? Uh, yeah. Padre Kant. Padre Kant. Mi dispiace. Father Kant. Kent. As a hologram, I don't eat. I simply don't have the stomach for it. Tolerance is one of my greatest attributes. As a physician, I will always treat you, no matter how intolerable I find you to be. To summarize, you have a recurring dream of going on an away mission to a planet, and in each and every dream, you are the only crew member to die on the planet's surface. Well, remove your red shirt and I'll examine you. 